Here comes Lang again. Lang. Pretty interesting looking player so far. And that's a penalty. Ah! That's a harsh decision. Come on, Leno. Show me what you got. He's going left. He's going left. He's going left. So, I just got an email from uh, the director of football. And he's basically uh, encouraging me to offer professional contracts to two players. There's Joel Ideho. Both of these players are Dutch, by the way. Potential ability, two and a half stars. Well, three stars, technically. Um, there's really nothing there that I think is particularly impressive. I mean, he's 17 years old. His dribbling's okay. His technique's okay. Off the ball, he's okay. But his work rate's pretty low. His pace isn't that impressive. Acceleration, agility. I mean, he's not a bad player by any means. But, it, but the other guy... Salah Ulad Mahand. Now this is a player. First touch, 14. Pass in, 12. Technique, 14. His tackling is a bit cack in this position. But if we just move him up to this position, the AMC position, then that doesn't become quite as important. His decisions are good. His flair is good. His off the ball is good. His anticipation needs a bit of work. Agility, 11 again. He's not got the, the fastest... He's not the fastest, but I don't want him to be the fastest. I want him to be basically a playmaker. Play so I'm quite happy for him to play in either of these positions. So I think, you can see up here, potential ability, four stars. I think he could be absolutely incredible. And he's only 16. So we're going to offer this guy a contract. Yeah, I absolutely think that's it. Finalise the promise. Job done. Okay, cool. That was quick. No messing about. Okay, so we're up against Club Bruges. Quite a big game. Definitely one that we want to be competitive in. Wow. Check out Reese Nelson. Nelson. Wow. Excellent. British. English. With a name like Nelson and skills like that. Nelson's a very exciting player. 20 years old. Wow. Let me just follow this guy. Nelson. I think he's going to be something special. Shazen make a Papatopoulos offer. Um, what are they offering? Five million. Yeah, we take that. They're also offering five million. We'll, we'll do that. They're all offering five million. I'll let him go for five mil. We've only got 4.5 in the bank. We need some more players. I can't do it with four and a half million. I cannot do it with four and a half million. Socrates Papadopoulos has agreed to a deal to leave the club and join DL Pro. He's looking forward to working with such a talented group of players. Yep, done, except. The board have agreed that 4.9 million will be added to the transfer budget on completion of the deal. Excellent. Make parting comment to Pastor Papadopoulos. Yes, let's do that. You have been a fantastic servant to the club and you're welcome back any time. Brilliant. Thanks. Who knows what the future holds? Well, it looks like I'll be leaving in that case. Expressionless. All right. Well, I think the conversation ended reasonably well with Papadopoulos unmoved, unmoved by your comments. 32 year old, powerful centre back. Yeah, well, that's the first guy out the door. That's my first action as manager. So, Kolosniak trained really well. Rob Holding didn't train so well. Fair enough. Top of the table. Woohoo! <laughs> we almost always are. Preseason report for Crystal Palace. Fitness tests. Danny Caballos remains some way short of full fitness and should be monitored. Mesut Ozil failed his fitness test. Not recommended to be selected. Recovering from a stubbed toe. Seriously. So I'm just doing a, an induction to backroom staff. And uh, yeah, pretty scary looking stuff. We have no chief scout. We have no recruitment analysts. We have no head physio. No, no doctors and no sports scientists. I don't know why. But it does say... 
that we've got the highest average in the Premier Division. The board feel that the medical team is in need of a head physio. I'd say so too. We may formally request the board to allow more freedom and fewer restrictions for your backroom team. You can also, if you wish, place adverts to fill any vacancies. That's our responsibilities. Wow, there's a lot of stuff I've got to learn about this game. Okay, staff. Head physio. Yep. Excellent. Okay, so we've we've put an ad in. Hopefully we'll fill that role pretty soon. In preparation for the upcoming transfer window, we have arranged a recruitment meeting to determine our strategy. Okay, this sounds important. I've called this meeting as we're about to start a transfer window and I want us to align our aims for the market. Sign players under the age of 18 for the future. Desired. Five-year plan. Work within the budget. The budget is crappy. Our transfer budget right now is 9.425 million, so yeah, I'm going to say I'm aware of where we need to improve, and I think that's done. Right, here we go. So Lacazette is in red. Lacazette is injured. This is not a good start to the season. Right, so Lacazette needs to come out. Holding hasn't been playing brilliantly. I need a centre back really. And oh yeah, um where is he? Where is where is that youngster? So I want to find Nelson. What's his one negative trait? Has no strong feelings about the squad support for the manager, which remains at a good level. Twenty years old. I haven't got a problem with that at all. Right, so that's the squad we're going with. I'm fairly confident we're playing uh, the correct system. Let's go. What do you mean Lacazette is injured and not available? Oh, he's in, he's in the sub-10 position. Oh, we got 10 subs. Well, okay. Well, in that case, we'll have Ma Maitland Niles in there. Kolesniac. We'll stick Cottrell in there. Interested to see what he's capable of. Very talented player. Not valued very highly. 18 years old. Wow. We've got so many injuries in defence. It's unbelievable. Okay. I'm really happy with that. Let's go. Ah, Nicolas Pepe is happy. Granite Xhaka is concerned. The team instructions for... Why can't I scroll down? Oh, God. The team instruction short of passing doesn't suit his passing style. Okay, well that's worth thinking about. Let's have it. Come on, boys and girls. Okay. Whoa! <clears throat> Opening gambit from Lang there. Good 20 feet out. Not far off. Not far off at all. Leno wasn't even uh, wasn't even looking at it. What's this? Ah, just, just ignore. Go away. Go away. Nice clearance. Nice goal kick. We seem to be losing the ball in the middle quite a bit. Here comes Lang again. Lang. Pretty interesting looking player so far. And that's a penalty. Ah! That's a harsh decision. Come on, Leno. Show me what you got. He's going left. He's going left. He's going left. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's how you get an extra scoop of ice cream. Right, come on, guys. You've got to wake up a bit. Pepe's on the go. Really? No highlight off the back of that? Nicolas Pepe's just been smashed out. Immediately injured. I cannot believe it. Okay, well, Eddie Nikita is coming on. I cannot believe we've lost Pepe so early. Will I am looks like he's given everything he has, and we should think about changes. 
you want me to put Ben Cottrell on. Saka, great cross in. Will I am? Yeah, he's looking a bit slow, isn't he? It's not even half time yet. Bellerin. Class and pace. Great ball in! Obama Yang, of course. Of course it's Obama Yang. Fantastic. 1 0 up, just on the stroke of half time. That's what we're looking for. All from Bellerin. I'll not hear a bad word said about the man. Fantastic cross. Really, really excellent. Very happy. Uh, yeah, I don't actually want to. Just go away. <laughs> Right, so the XG match story pretty much says it all. Um, we are not looking like the dominant force here. Um, Obama Yang basically, I think, got one shot and put it home. Right, I'm far from pleased. I'm going to point my finger. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I have to be really angry. All right. Well, I don't want to be really angry. I want to be kind of this angry. Good. Motivated all round. Rob Holding is complacent. Rob Holding, you did not do particularly well in uh, in training, so... I think maybe it's time we made a few changes here. Let's go to tactics. Let's bring on... David Luis. Only because we have no other option. But David Luis is on. Everything else I'm pretty happy with. Um, I want to go from balanced to attacking. Let's see if we can start to create a few more chances in the second half. Leno. Another fantastic goal kick. Nikita. He's brilliant. Look at the skill. He's done one. He's set up Will I and Bobby Young. Goal number two. That's what I'm talking about. One minute after the kickoff in the at half time and we're in. We're in the money. All from Nikita. Look at that skill. And then the very smart layoff to Will I Am. Will I Am doesn't screw that up. Aubameyang totally unmarked. They were not expecting that, were they? That's fantastic. That's what we can do. Turn it on a dime. Just flick the switch, go attacking, and just destroy teams. That's brilliant. That's what we want for the season. Okay, so I'm thinking... Oh man, I can't see my... So... We're going to bring on Maitland Niles. For... Uh, for party. And we'll bring on Cottrell for Will I Am. Just to test him out. And, uh, oh no, 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 let's, uh, let's bring on, I'm going to run out of time here. Oh, I think they scored, <laughs> Lang scored. But uh, it was considered to be offside. Bloody hell. Well, there's a player that we desperately... Right, hang on. Pause. Why doesn't it pause when I'm doing tactical changes? I cannot see that button because my camera's in the way. Most irritating. I'm going to have to do something about that. That's not working for me. Right. 
So I want to see Nelson on for Will I Am. And we'll move his position in a second. I want to see. Who do I want to see? Maitland Niles on for party. And I'm pretty happy with that actually. Um, we'll just bring Nelson back here. No, we don't need to bring him back. We just need to change him to an attacking midfielder in a support role. Is he quite happy with that? I think he is. I think he's going to do fine. I'm excited to see what he can do. All right. Oh, Okareki totally dominating our defence. And there it is, 2-1. Wow. Perhaps we're attacking a bit too much. Mistakes were made. Leno, if he was match fit, <clears throat> he'd probably be much better at stopping those. So we've got two subs on, 66th minute, half, 30 minutes left of the game. What's going to happen here? Tierney to Saka, great skill from Saka, Tierney, breaking down the wing, get the cross in. Nelson, oh he tripped over the ball, I feel so bad for him, he'll be fine. I'll give him a big heads up, I'll give him a big confidence boost later. El Nenny and Maitland Niles just doing their thing in the middle. And Maitland Niles! Oh, what a performance! We have to keep our eye on that sort of thing from Maitland Niles. That was pretty awful. Ignore. 75th minute. Still got a 2 1 lead here. Back foot, it seems. I know. What a scorcher. Mwenda, bloody hell. Deserving of 2-2 uh, two -two there. We ought to be playing more defensively. But uh, I'm going to go all out for it. I want to win. Win, lose or draw. Four minutes left. Three minutes left. Two minutes left. Oh, we are under the... Under the... Under the cosh. That's it. Four minutes into extra time. And uh, a draw. So, oh, what's going on? We we improved, but we were not the dominant team here today. I expect to see you all in training tomorrow. You don't deserve a rest after that performance. Yeah, well, I'm proper pissed. <laughs> I really am. Everyone seems motivated off the back of that. Xhaka is angry. But, you know, bollocks, because that was crap. Nicolas Pepe is out for one to three days. Okay, we can deal with that. Arsenal manager slams the team. Kieran Tierney has told how manager Simu K lost his temper with the team during Arsenal's friendly 2-2 draw with Club Bruges. The wing-back revealed that UK had not been happy with the way the team had played and had made sure that the team knew it. Damn Skippy! Damn Skippy, I'm not happy at all. So, first game in, should have been a victory, ended in a draw, could have been a defeat. Despite Southampton's bid, my client's preferred destination would be Aston Villa. So Southampton are trying to pinch Smith Rowe off us. It's not happening because Rowe is absolutely amazing. 20 years old. 
Um, so I'm going to say reject the offer. Reject all loan offers because he's going to get to play this year. Preston have made an offer of 44,500 for Ocon... 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 Okay. Uh, he's listed for loan, apparently. 18-year-old goalkeeper. Right, let's accept that. Because I, I do want goalkeepers to get some experience. Balagon set to move on loan to Morecambe. That's fine. Oh, hang on. Hmm, Falarin Balogun. He's pretty good. Yeah, we'll let him. We'll let him loan out. That's fine. 